Hey guys, <laughs> while being sick last week, I've played a game that I wanted to play a long time ago, but was putting away time and time again. However, sickness is a reason to get a little treat, uh, that's why I sit down and beaten Shovel Knight. Honestly, I knew the game was good way before playing it. Uh, it came out basically the same day I lost access to the internet for more than two months, and when I regained it, everyone and their mother was praising the game. So, let me also spit into the jar of overwhelming praise that can be found on the doorstep of Yacht Club games. As can be seen from the first glance, Shovel Knight tries to cash in on the nostalgia dollar by looking, sounding and playing like an NAS game. But funnily enough, I've never owned an NAS. Uh, my friends did have a Taiwanese version of it called Dandies, so I've played several NAS games. And it's not like I completely lack the nostalgia for old good Nintendo action platformers, because later on my parents got me the only SNAS on the block, and <laughs> that instantly made me loved and hated by every male in the close vicinity. These were weird times. About the game though, it is good as we have established, and it really sticks to an idea of making an NAS game. I would even say, if it was released back in the day, now it would have been an absolute classic. But it's not what's great about it. <laughs> it was hard to process for me at first, and I really should stop comparing everything to Dark Souls, but this game feels like an NAS version of Dark Souls. In terms of storytelling that involves a lot of showing and little exposition, it is like Dark Souls. In terms of being the only beacon of hope in the world ruled by corrupted entities that were once on the side of light but became consumed by darkness, it is like Dark Souls. Even in terms of losing leveling up currency when you die with an ability to get it back, it is like Dark Souls. And it has blown my mind how much I was invested in the journey of a metal bucket on legs that fights with a shovel. Almost like in Dark Souls. What is even better, and what I think the devs should be praised the most for, is the game's attitude to teaching you the game's mechanics. It is simple and brilliant, and I love the devs for that. All that stupid hand-holding and all that fucking tutorializing that modern gaming makes you suffer through basically insulting your intelligence was thrown out of the window and thank god for that. I can't even express how excited I am about the simple fact that the game lets you figure out its mechanics on your own by providing more and more complex challenges. It always starts simple and gets more interesting, it lets you figure out your arsenal of moves and implement it later on, giving you a real sense of achievement that goes way beyond that congratulatory wank that you get from completing an average AAA title nowadays. <laughs> I probably should not bash AAA too much, cause we had a couple of nice games lately, but it stuns me that such an organic concept is often forgotten by large studios. So I guess they probably need focus groups that consist of something other than retarded tapeworms. Now, to make it fair, I need to say something bad about Shovel Knight. But it's so hard to find anything excruciatingly bad in it. I like the feel, the controls, the story. I guess the only thing that bugs me a bit is how forgiving the game is. Unlike, uh, well, all the NAS games I've ever played. Uh, uh, Shovel Knight is really not that hard of a game. The most challenge lies in platforming, where you're often instantly killed by pits or spikes. Uh, in regards of combat, however, it is really easy considering the spells are OP and the two chalices that give you an ability to fully restore health and mana twice a level are very easy to get, so just don't forget to refill them. None of the bosses provided a real challenge for me, that was kinda sad. Uh, the bosses uh, themselves are great, however, uh, with their unique stories and mechanics, it's just uh, they are too easy. <laughs> and to make the game harder, you need to get out of your way and destroy checkpoints. But it's like chopping off an arm because life is too good for you. It's just stupid. <laughs> On the 
Overall, Shovel Knight can be recommended to anyone who likes action platforming, regardless of whether you're nostalgic for NAS games or not. It is a great game with a great story that respects you and doesn't treat you like an idiotic cash cow, something that AAA gaming industry does more and more with each year. I'm looking at you, Ubisoft's The Crew, with your microtransactions in a $60 release. Fuck you! <laughs> and Shovel Knight, for me, is one of the greatest representatives of indie gaming and I can't wait for the next game from the guys behind it. Simple as that! Thanks for watching, guys! The name is Grvacher and I shall see you from within my next video.